Let me know, have you had any boot loop on iOS 26 beta 3? One crazy thing about iOS 26 beta 3 specifically is that Apple did an awesome job with the performance on some certain iPhones but then they practically destroyed my main iPhone 14 Pro with this particular iOS 26 beta 3. I updated from iOS 18.5 on my main iPhone because I tried it on my secondary iPhone 12 as you can see here and I was kind of convinced based on the kind of performance I got out of it I was kind of convinced that alright it's time to try it out on my main device but how wrong I was because my phone went into a boot loop straight up yep you know that white screen you get when they write swipe up to upgrade and then it shows the black apple logo on the white background I got that screen and it loaded all the way to around half and then the phone turned off turned back on and repeated the white screen loading process about 20 times yeah my phone was freaking hot first of all what i did was i used finder on my mac to restore my iphone back to normal back to stable ios 18.5 and i was like okay maybe it's probably an app in my phone so i wiped my phone completely and updated to ios 26 beta 3 but lo and behold my phone went into a boot loop again <laughs> Yeah, quite crazy. Anyways, it's not only me this happened, so I checked Reddit and I saw even someone with iPhone 15 Pro, it happened to a couple of people, yeah. So I just hope they fix this in the future. The main thing I'm quite excited about that actually made me even upgrade in the first place is on my iPhone 12, I got the best Geekbench single core score I have ever gotten since I bought the phone, yeah. That also means since I've been running even stable iOS 18 builds on it. Like benchmarks in general are very impressive on this beta 3. And also like the visuals have been improved. Yeah, Apple, we know they had to like add more blur and make everything more readable, thereby killing like half of the liquid glass and making everything just plain old frosted glass. Yeah, but then we had to just sacrifice that so everyone can see very well, especially on light mode. On dark mode, there are still some elements that look more liquid glass than how they look on light mode but everything is good and fine at this rate you can tell that when you get to the final build everything is going to be awesome yeah and in terms of graphics and gaming i also got above the average on 3d max wildlife extreme which i used to test how well my iphone 12 was doing yeah i got more than 100 points above the average of course most of the average scores that were even used to determine the average in the first place were gotten from running stable builds on other iPhone 12. So I can say we are pretty much on a good streak at this point. We just need to be done with that boot loop because that thing is pretty much crazy.